You now understand the different components that make up a social media ad. But what makes an ad effective? By the end of this video, you will know how to evaluate whether an ad is set up for success. So let's take a look. Remember, an ad has five core elements. First, there is the target audience, then the copy or the text of the ad, then the creative, an image or a video, the call to action, CTA, and finally, the landing page. For an ad to be effective, it's important that its five core elements work together. Everything has to match, and here's what that means. First, the message you communicate has to be right for the target audience. Then, the image you select has to match your copy. There should be a clear call to action that expresses what you want your target audience to do next. And then, the ad and the call to action should match what people will find on the landing page. Let's look at what an effective Instagram ad for Kala and Ivy might look like. This ad here is targeted to design conscious women between the ages of 30 and 44 who have a need to beautify their home. That's the target audience. The copy reads, bring the spring colors into your home. Well, that should be appealing to women who want to add some beauty to their home interior. And the image shows a beautiful spring bouquet, which reflects exactly what the text promises. There's a call to action, CTA, in the form of a button that says, shop now. Well, that is clear. And when you click, it brings you to this landing page here that shows the exact bouquet from the ad and you can buy right from this page. So that matches very well and the ad makes it easy for the user to follow through on the call to action. That is an effective ad. Now let's look at this Instagram ad, again for Kala and Ivy. The target audience is the same, design conscious women between the ages of 30 and 44 who have a need to beautify their home. The copy reads, new, discover our wild rose bouquets, enjoy 20% off today. And that matches the target audience well. Roses are beautiful and this target is interested in discovering bouquets that can improve their home interior. The image, however, is of a bouquet of tulips and that is odd. The image doesn't match the copy and that can be very confusing to users. The CTA says shop now, which is clear, but because of the conflicting text and image, the users can't really know what to expect when they click on the button. Roses or tulips? And that confusion can lead to people skipping the ad altogether. The landing page is one of a beautiful rose bouquet and you can buy the bouquet, but unfortunately it is not what was in the image of the ad. So some users may be disappointed. Now let's look at a few examples of real life ads. Here's an example of an ad on Facebook for the Guardian Weekly magazine. And while we don't know what the exact description of the target audience is, we can imagine that they would be looking to attract people who are interested in news and world affairs. The copy in this ad is clear and it should appeal to this audience. And it very clearly states what the offer is. The images in this ad reinforce the text. They reiterate the offer and they show the magazine. And there's a clear call to action button that tells users to take the next step. When users now click on the ad, they see this landing page here, which is clearly related to the ad and shows the exact same offer. The user can immediately proceed from here and subscribe. Here's another example of an ad for PayPal for Business. And this ad is targeted to small business owners. Again, the copy of the message is very clear. The associated image is related to the copy. And while it's harder to come up with an appealing image for a more abstract service like this one, PayPal was able to express the functionality of its platform in its image. It's a clear call to action message in the form of a button that says, learn more. And when you click on it, you land on a landing page that clearly relates to the ad and follows through on the promise to teach you more about the platform.